Good early morning. We are so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this Halloween-inspired weekend vlog, make sure you come back the next day, the next day, and the next day. Cool. I'm like nervous but I'm super excited. I just feel like I haven't like suited up for a race in a long time. I got the Nike Epic Reaction something doohickeys, the new ones I got from Steve. They fit like a glove. There's literally not even a tongue. The tongue is built in. Got my bib on, bib 400. That's a cool number. Got my bib boards so I don't ruin any shirts. Got my singlet on. I'm gonna see if I can get my Track Shack and, and the social media ambassador singlet. Um, our contact has been like, oh, come pick him up at package at bid pickup, but she already left for the day when I went there, but overslept. I wanted to get up at six and to be here at seven because the race is at eight. It's 730, so a little late, but I don't think, it's not like the run Disney events. Like there's things to do, but I think that's like after the race. There's not too much to do before the race. Also, could not ask for a more beautiful neighborhood. This is the Baldwin Park area. It looks like a like a, a, a celebration spinoff a little bit. Definitely more condo, townhome driven, but it's it's 70 degrees and it feels so cold to me because I'm a little baby now that my blood's thin. And with stuff like that, it feels like fall. So we're getting hot up. We're getting apple cider. We're making hot apple cider. We're we're doing all the things. And look at this, another level of excitement. Look at that road closed. That means. A race is going down. I forgot guys that it's a Halloween run, which should have thought about this. That means you can dress up in costume. And I'm already seeing a lot of people dressed up in costume. So I got that, what do they call it? That FOMO, the fear of missing out. I just wish I had a cool costume to dress up in. Wow, ha, ha. I wonder, I really should look at the route. I wonder if we're running around this or partially around it. Harbor Park, wow. That's beautiful with the sun rising. Do you hear the music? There's the finish line. Trek Shack's Halloween Run and Walk 5K. We got bananas, photo ops. We got Track Shack, Orange Theory, Eat the Frog Fitness. Oh, look at that. Uh, look at the, this feels like fall. I'm freaking out because it feels so good. For my run Disney folks, so do you hear that voice? Way, you're guaranteed an opportunity, right? You can get with that the is group. the now retired can, of MC of, of the run Disney category. events. We have He's have awesome. So they got the eight minute mile, nine minute 10, hey, by the way, if you please all the way sure down over here. Get out the road's the not closed yet. So they're corralling up like this, but it's a fun run. So it's not like super serious corrals, they're just literally science. Over so I think I'll go somewhere on the 910 just to be safe. And like I said, friends, Feeling closer, good and closer. ready. Next weekend, first of all, next weekend, I'm getting a haircut next weekend. That's getting handled by. So this Krispy Kreme here, they have so many boxes. Look at all those boxes of Krispy Kreme. So that was such a fun run. I, I feel good. And I didn't plan on pushing it because of my, my big run tomorrow. But I ran a 7.50. Fastest 5K I've ever run. Oh. But I'm going to head back. Sarah's awake. Great check. Great job. Home. Back on the camera. Showered. Shaved. Sarah's almost... Sarah's done editing. You're just like getting the... The vlog will be up in 11 minutes. Um, Sarah's having some chips and salsa. I'm making myself a nice little breakfast spread because... I need to recover from this morning, but more importantly, I need to properly rehydrate and re-nutrition and everything for tomorrow when I run my marathon. About to make some of this delicious espresso. I haven't done that in a while. Got here, protein shake. I also have right here, I'm making some oatmeal with some flaxseed, a little bit of brown sugar, 
nutmeg with a water and oat milk combination in there. So that's going to be good. And here's a little setup for the espresso and then this big old water that I'm about to down in four seconds. Props to our friend Lauren who gave Sarah this spice rack that we're going to put in our closet. All right, Sarah's resting with Eve. Eve, I just cuddled Eve for the first time in my life and my heart is through the, the roof. Um, we're watching New Girl, but I'm gonna go to uh, the store, pick up the groceries for the week. Our UK friends may come to Winter Park tonight before they head to the airport, so that might be nice because we can get Sarah some fresh air and have her leave for the first time in days. And, uh, but we'll see where the day goes. Still only 1.30. Well, 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 guess where I'm back at again. That's right, Sprouts, our favorite farmer's market store. So, went to Aldi. One further past Winter Park, and you know we love Aldi. This was the absolute worst condition Aldi. Ca I want to caveat it with, they are in the middle of construction, but literally floating fridges. They had two fr fridge units that were basically empty. One freezer unit that was packed with unorganized stuff, and two that were just unplugged and empty, and it had a weird smell. It just like was not, wasn't good. Wasn't good. So Sprouts, it wasn't too, too far, so hop down over here. We had some ready-made dinners. I know I was here just yesterday, and I probably, this was probably here, but I just didn't see it. Sarah and I were just on the phone, and I saw eggnog at the Aldi, one of like the three things they actually had, and Sarah's like, you know, and I was like, I know they can't have it. Literally, has egg in the name. Good Karma Dairy-Free Pumpkin Spice Nog. I'm getting this. I don't even think pumpkin spice eggnog would even taste good, but we're giving it a try, because if that can taste like fall, oh, trouble. I also um, don't trust this at all, but we'll try it a different day, but I don't trust that. Bittersweet news, everybody. Yep, we thought we had more time to be able to go and see Sean and Caroline. We were gonna be like, take it easy, just like relax, find a spot and hang yeah. out. We told them about the art festival in, in, on Park Avenue in like <clears throat> downtown Winter Park. So they did go to it, and we yeah. were gonna meet up with them there and kind of stroll or just sit around on a bench because Sarah can't do too much. Well, I just got back from the grocery store and we reached out to them and they have to go to the, the airport. airport because the traffic is getting real bad. Right, and I guess internationally, MCO requests, yeah, longer. Longer, um, earlier. So I'm in normal clothes, but I don't know if, what we're gonna, if we're gonna do anything. Maybe when the sun goes down. I know we wanted to go to that arts festival, and but it'll had, also you be- You have not seen Park Avenue since we moved here. <laughs> Besides driving by it. I've seen it so many times. I know, I want to be on. really, really careful though. Like I don't yeah. want to, like I know you want me to be too. But I mean like literally like street parking should be open because the art festival is only until 5 o'clock today and then it's open again tomorrow. Um, so Park Avenue might be able to close on, park on when the sun's down and there's benches there. Like literally we can just like drive there and then go sit on a bench and should just like yeah. watch, people Peter. watch. But Peter's all excited because he got something I got a package. <laughs> So I believe, I believe these are my headphones, which couldn't have come at a per more perfect time because tomorrow's my long run. But let's open it up and see. Oh, no way. You're not gonna believe this. So let me give you a little background story on these bad boys, these Bluetooth bone conductive headphones. Um, they're by a company called Aftershocks with a K and a Z. Does that look like me in the future? Um, and I was looking into getting a pair of these um, because they're bone conductive, so they sit outside of your ear, but the music travels in through your bone ear canal. And then so like it's great for running outside because I can hear cars, I can hear animals, and I loved it. And then they're Bluetooth, they're like sweat slash water-ish resistant. I happen to be talking to one of the contacts at American Cancer Society during Star Wars weekend back in April, and he's like, wait, I think we have some refurbs that they sent us, like prototypes, to give out to last year's Chicago Marathon runners, because they're not the, the oldest company. This box is really nice. Long story short, ACS, as a thank you, sent me a pair of those, these, in April after the run, as a thank you for all the fundraising between, like, Star Wars, Dopey, already signing up for winding down at that point and then knowing telling them I was going to fundraise for Dopey as well but they sent me these refurbs ones and now this is now transitioning to an awesome story about how awesome Aftershocks is which is funny enough the main sponsor for upcoming wine and dine weekend they're the main sponsor for that for that run Disney weekend 
is there's a two year warranty. You can kind of see it right there, two year warranty. And when mine broke, I don't know why, they would charge, the light would indicate charging, but it wouldn't turn on. And so I was a little bummed out because I hate running, I don't have any other Bluetooth headphones, so I've been using the cords. Reach out to them and they're like, okay, what's the serial number? I'm like, here's the serial number. They're like, all right, where's your proof of purchase? And I was like, here's the funny story. They were gifted to me through a charity organization. I understand if you can't do anything, I just was just curious. And they're like, no, those are still under warranty. That's like, you've only had them for a handful of months. They, we don't like our product to be presented that way. Here's a prepaid warranty re refurb shipment label. So I shipped it back out like a week and a half ago. Then uh, a couple days ago, I got a tracking number for a, for a package to get sent back. Me thinking that I had refurb headphones, they're gonna send me more refurb headphones. This box was brand new. The brand new set of Trex Air. Thank you so much, Aftershocks. You are all amazing. And that is quality customer service. And if you are looking for Bluetooth headphones, and I know I'm a part of a couple ultra running Facebook groups, run Disney Facebook groups, everybody really loves these. If pretty much, if you don't like buds, like AirPods or the other equivalent ones that are made that aren't Apple brand, um, a lot of people love the different styles of, they have like three or four different models. Really great for running, really great for phone calls, for listening to the traffic, being careful of your surroundings, especially if you're an outdoor runner. So thank you Aftershocks. I even got this little pouch again. I'm gonna charge these up and use them tomorrow during my 26.2 miles. All right, seven o'clock. It's chilly in our apartment since we've been home all, almost, pretty much all day, so I have a hoodie on. But what we're gonna do for dinner tonight, since seven o'clock I need to eat my last big nutritional meal for the run tomorrow. I think we're doing, I actually was supposed to eat these while Sarah was in Chicago, but I forgot about them. We have Italian sausage less sausage made from soy. So I always laugh because I don't know how to say that word properly, but I don't know how to say most words properly. So we're going to eat these on a nice bun, and we're going to make up some pasta, and then that should do it for me tonight. I'll wake up and probably have a banana, then get ready, do some stretching before I go out. But I'm also going to have, my goal is three more big cups of water. It's important. A lot of people think you've got to hydrate during the race, and you do need to hydrate during the race, but it's vital to hydrate a lot the day before or and two days before so we just watched um this runner kofuzi which my buddy steve told me about many moons ago but me and sarah watched this two and a half minute inspirational marathon or just inspirational running video that's all throughout chicago we'll put the link in down below please watch it it's so awesome and it showcases our our favorite city in the whole world my least chicagoan feature is that i put ketchup and my dogs. Also, I'm having sushi instead of pasta, because for some reason, pasta gives me the heebie-jeebies. Also, look at what we got. My sister's wedding invitation. Guess who designed it? Me. The night has come to an early close because we're getting, oh, I'm getting up early to run. Today's message is by one of my favorite people in the whole world. I have two pairs of shoes by him, Mr. Gary Vaynerchuk. What? His quote is, please think about your legacy because you're writing it every day. Have I even been in the vlog today? I think you have. <laughs> it has been mostly me, but I think you have. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've been resting. You did a now, really good job resting. I felt better all day until now. Yeah, but it's okay. It's gonna, It's got to come to, for it to go. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us today. Tomorrow we might go to property for like a quick little trip. we got to pick something up. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>